Scarlawi and Reneus work on the railway that weaves round lakes and along mountain sides. Their coaches are filled with visitors, and the engines are proud to run the line come rain or shine. The engines will never let their passengers down, but they are old and they tire more easily. Their drivers understood this and they spoke kindly to them. There's more than enough work for both of you on this railway. The manager is sending two more engines to help us run the line. Scarloe and Reneus were pleased with this news and promised to give the new engines a big welcome. When Sir Handel and Peter Sam arrived, they found they had much to learn. I think it's nice, said Peter Sam. Shh, said Peter Sam. That's Scarloe. He's famous. And then he whispered to Scarloe. I'm sorry, Scarloe. Sir Handel's upset now, but he's quite nice, really. Scarloe felt sorry for Peter Sam. Now, Sir Handel, said the fireman. We'll get you ready. No, owner's orders. You're first. Sir Handel puffed away to fetch his coaches. He didn't like the look of them at all. Screamed the coaches. What a horrid engine! What a horrid engine! He rolled to the platform just as Gordon arrived. Yeah, Kimi wa dare dai? I'm Gordon. Who are you? Boku wa Sir Handel. Kimi no koto wa kiteru yo. Kimi mo kyuko hiteru nda ro? Boku mo mai wa kakko ii kyakusha wa hitetan nda kedo ne. Kimi no wa dou? Ma kakko ii janai. Otto, o shaberi dokoro janai. Jikan genshu, jikan genshu. Gordon was speechless. Clouds of steam filled the air as Sir Handel huffed and puffed along the line. He was still cross when they reached the top station. Sir Handel was hoping for a rest, but his driver thought otherwise. We leave the coaches now and fetch some trucks from the quarry. Kasha that day? Sir Handel was about to cause a great deal of trouble. By the time workmen came to rescue him, Sir Handel was feeling rather silly. To make matters worse, there stood Sir Topham Hatt. His message to Sir Handel was brief and blunt. I shall talk to you later. Then he and the fireman left with Peter Sam. Sir Handel felt sillier still. Come on, said his driver. Let's get you back on the rails. When Sir Handel crawled home, he found Sir Topham Hatt waiting for him. You're a very naughty engine. I hope I can trust you to behave when you next come out of this shed. After hearing that, I'm sure Sir Handel will, aren't you?